Now we have the abrasion, bruises or lacerations. Whenever we have teeth marks or bite marks, they, their severity is going to be uh, different in different cases. It can either be just an abrasion phenomena or it can be a jagged laceration. Contour of the part bitten is also examined in detail, whether it has the irregular or the regular margins or it is markedly curved. Part of the dental arch and the contact tissue is also examined in detail. If it is a forcible bite, then the extensive subcutaneous bruising, if it is found, it will be written down, documented in the autopsy report. If there is some sort of a lateral spread or if the fading outline is found in a particular case, it basically indicates that it was a forcible bite. The bites inflicted in many days before will have the healing of abrasions and lacerations. The absorption of bruising or little details will be found of the bruising phenomena. If the teeth are forcibly applied, then we'll have two bows that will have the complete uh, structure of the dentition and the complete architecture of the dentition will be found in those bones. Now the concavities uh, will be facing each other and the gap will be at the each end. The suction petechiae will be found and they're confluent in their nature. There, there is a firm application of lips that is again going to cause the bruising phenomena and it can be distinguished by the fact that we will not have the teeth marks uh, whenever the uh, firm application of the lips is causing the bruising. Then petechial hemorrhages are also looked for in these cases and the frank bruise or the hematomas if they are found they are going to be documented in detail. On the sides of the neck and the breasts they are going to basically signify the fact that it was a sexual kind of an assault.